are there any plans at least for a world-class African city, uh, you know, the economic hub of the entire continent when it comes to uh, fixing our roads? Yeah. Um, well, firstly, just a, a slight correction. I actually mm. work for the uh, for a consulting firm, WSP. Oh, where, that is connected to the city. Yeah, yeah. So we do a lot of work for the Houghton Department of Road and so, Transport. So, but you still know. I still know, plans? definitely. <laughs> are there plans? Yeah, uh, definitely there are plans. Mm. And, and I don't know if maybe, Maseko, firstly, thank you for having me. Sure. And uh, good afternoon to yourself and your listeners at home. Um, maybe some bit of context to the subject matter, which mm. will sort of help me unpack the question. Um, the road um, infrastructure in South Africa is an economic infrastructure. Mm. And the way I like to think about it, or I like to compare it with the, uh, the foundation of a building. Mm. Um, so what it means, Masekwa, is that uh, it provides um, a supporting role. Mm. It facilitates... Uh, uh, economic activities in the country that mm. uh, contribute significantly to the GDP growth of South Africa. And uh, it's, it's for this reason that even research shows that investment in, in road uh, infrastructure in South Africa is, is linked directly to the economic growth of the country in terms of GDP per capita. So in terms of the plans to make the city world class in how we're dealing with this, I think, yes, we can make, we can make that, but we encountered or we are faced with a number of challenges that I can break them down and, and the solutions to that. Mm. But certainly there is hope. Uh, mm. We understand the challenges from the professional background where we come from mm. and uh, um, I, I'm happy to take you through some of those uh, challenges and what the solutions can be.